Today, we're going to zero in on two of those counties and two of those key demographics. First, evangelicals in Chattooga County, Georgia, a deep red county that's part of Marjorie Taylor Greene's district that went overwhelmingly for Donald Trump. And Latinos in Washoe County, Nevada, a swing county that's recently broken for Democrats. Guad Venegas is in Washoe County, and, and Ellison Barber is in Chattooga County, Georgia. They both got a look into how these voters view the infrastructure talks that have consumed all of us here in Washington. So, Guad, to you first, what issues are important to these Washoe voters, and how are they reacting uh, to what's been going on here in Washington? Garrett, it's important to understand what Washoe County is like. This used to be a red county, and then a lot of people moved here from California. You have people taking jobs. It's turned a little more blue, but it's still considered a purple county. One-third Republican, one-third Democrat, one-third nonpartisan or other. But then also, when you analyze the fact that 16, almost 16 percent of eligible voters here are Latino, this is a county that is up for grabs. We've been speaking to some of the voters from those that support the current administration to those that are not happy with what is happening in Washington. This is what they had to say. There's so much crap into it, but yeah, I don't think we should. You can do in infrastructure, man, start burying some freaking power lines and stuff. Okay. Do, do what we do in the other countries. You want to really make something happen? Not, not any of this social stuff. Pues todos los hispanos estamos esperando una reforma migratoria, pues todo es lo que queremos, porque yo pienso que trabajan mucho y merecen algo, construyen mucho para este país y que queremos una reforma migratoria para toda nuestra gente, pues. Eso es lo importante. Yeah. So he says all Hispanics want immigration reform, so that was the most important issue for him. He's waiting for immigration reform, and that's the reason why he selected the candidate that he chose. Now, when you look at what's happening in Washington right now, right, you have this infrastructure bill that is uh, tr they're trying to put it through. And then some Democrats continue to push immigration reform in that bill, even though it's very difficult. And this voter is telling us exactly what many of the Hispanic voters here in Washington and other parts of the country are saying, that immigration continues to be one of the main issues on the top of their mind. And I should add that in all of Washoe, housing and the economy are also very important to voters, Garrett. Yeah, I can't tell you how many campaign events I've covered in Reno or in Sparks. Somewhere out in Washoe County it is a fast-changing area. Um, Ellison, Chattooga voters are obviously very different from what Guad's seeing in Washoe. What are you hearing about the priorities there? What do they think about what's going on with these negotiations in Washington? Yeah, I mean, this county is about as red as you can get. President, former President Donald Trump won this county last cycle with 80 percent of the vote. And that was while the population was declining here. Whenever he was on the ballot, even though the population was declining, voter turnout went up. So when we say this is a red county, we we really mean it. And when you ask people here to summarize the political beliefs of people in this community, you tend to hear them say two words, God and freedom. They hate the idea of socialism here, and they genuinely believe and fear that this country is going to become a socialist or communist nation similar to China or Cuba. And for them, the things happening in Washington, the discussions, the cost of an infrastructure deal, of the latest spending proposal, that plays into that fear. Listen to some of what we've heard. Yesterday, somebody was telling me they really don't, yeah. they really feel like a Venezuela-like country is not far off here. I think a lot of people will hear that and say, that's yeah. absurd. Yeah. What do you think, and, and do you get the sense here that there really is a, a genuine concern that this oh, could be yes. a communist? If you look, just a few years ago, we were talking about passing bills that was multi-billion dollars, and people was going out of their mind going, wow, I can't believe how this big bill, this big, how large this bill is. And now I think today they come out with another one, I would just cap it at $1.75 trillion. So, Garrett, we're not in this county because we think it could potentially flip and turn blue or even purple. We know that this county is going to stay red. But in a newly purple state like Georgia, if Republicans want to do well in the midterms and take back that Senate seat they lost, they have to see voters turn out in communities like this. There's been some discussion around this idea that the former president's false attacks on the election, claiming that it was rigged, that that could impact his supporters and actually hurt turn 
turnout for the Republican Party in the upcoming election. When I talk to people in this county, they will tell us that they do not trust the election process. But every single person we've spoken to, they still say they plan to vote. And two big issues driving that are their opposition to abortion. This is a very evangelical community. And then their fears that this country is headed in a direction towards socialism, which is something they do not support. Garrett.